They don't know about you. God's got you. He's got you. They don't know about you. Let them assume what they want about you. They don't know about you. God's got you. He's got you. Been through too much, can't keep it to yourself. So survivor, gotta run and go tell somebody else. You're a survivor, been through too much, can't keep it to yourself. So survivor, gotta run and go tell somebody else. It's me again Been a long time Young man by the name of John Wesley Thorne and rearranged this song for me Hat Red Bow Adrian I was out on Facebook the other day And there was a young lady had posted All you busy about Dipping and dabbing in other folks' business. She said, I wish you would whoop, get your awesome business and leave mine alone. I begin to come in to all them busy bodies. You know who you is. Even in the church. Whoop. Lord, I'm going to join my spirit. Look at here. If you take six months to mind your business, six months, leave your fellow man alone. If you dig one ditch, you better dig two. Ditch that you dig.
How you doing, everybody? I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your gospel news. Latisse Crawford, born in Manhattan, New York. Crawford sang in the children's choir and eventually rose to become a soloist and worship leader. This is due to her serving in recording sessions, doing vocal references, and singing background for established artists. Crawford first gained fame during her performances on Sunday Best, where she finished in third place. Her first studio album, Latisse Crawford, was released by RCA Inspiration in 2014. Her sophomore release, Diary of a Church Girl, features the song's author and Choose Me, which both made it to Billboard's Top Gospel Airplay and Hot Gospel Songs charts. The EP also garnered her first stellar award nomination for Contemporary Female Vocalists of the Year. For contemporary gospel group The Showers, both music and faith are a family affair, a vocal group comprised of seven of ten siblings. The Showers grew up in a Christian household and used their music to express their faith and spread the Lord's message to others. The Showers consist of six women, Angela, Sierra, Melody, Regina, Tabitha, and Tiffany, and one brother, Titus, all born and raised in Hammond, Louisiana. Their father, a pastor, and their mother, a missionary. In 2014, the group self-released their national debut album, The Showers Family Group, which made it to Billboard's Top 25 Radio singles better at number 13 and immediately to number 24 both written by songwriter singer Dion Kipping in 2015 the showers earned a stellar award nomination for traditional group duo of the year church memberships are down all over the country why studies are being conducted all over speaking to members and former members asking why they simply stop going to church certainly we recognize there are many legitimate claims of church members like unfulfilled expectations. Many times a church member leaves a local body because he or she may have an entitlement mentality rather than a servant mentality. Excuses like the worship leader refused to listen to me about the songs and music I wanted to sing. The pastor didn't feed me. No one from my church ever came to visit me. I was not about to support the building fund. I was out two weeks and nobody called me. They moved the service times and now it conflicts with my schedule. I told the pastor to go visit my cousin in jail and he never did. The pastor doesn't know who I am. The latest research has concluded that there are 10 ways that a church can reclaim or keep church members. Number 10, monitor attendance of each member. This approach is often difficult, especially for worship attendance. Number 9, offer more options for worship times. Some members have to work during the times of worship services. Number 8, encourage ministry involvement. Many members become less frequent attendees because they have no ministry roles in the church. Number seven, require an entry class for membership. By doing so, the church makes a statement that membership is meaningful. Number six, raise the expectations of membership. You may be surprised how many church members don't really think that it's important to be an active part of the church. Number five, encourage people to be in small groups. Those in Sunday school classes and small groups are more likely to be informed and functioning church members. Number four, train members. About 100% of pastors agree that their role is to train and equip members. Number three, mentor members. Take two or three members and begin to mentor them to become biblical church members. Number two, raise the bar of expectations. In many congregations, clarify your expectations of being a member of the church. And the number one way researchers say to recover lost members is number one, inform church members. We do not have precise numbers, but more than half of church members do not have a biblical understanding about church membership. Providing that information to new members in a class or private setting may move the entire congregation toward a servant mentality. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country. Number 10, Ja'Kalen Carr, You Will Win. Number 9, Ty Tribbett, Work It Out. Number 8, Kirk Franklin, My World Needs You. Number 7, Troy Sneed, Kept by His Grace. Number 6, William Murphy, Everlasting God. 
Number five, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Trust in You. Number four, Charles Jenkins featuring Leandria with Grace. Number three, Travis Green, You Waited. Number two, Dietrich Haddon and Hill City Worship Camp, A Billion People. And number one for 13 weeks, Change Me by Tamala Mann. Well, that's your Billboard Top 10 Songs in the Country, your 10 ways to recover church members in your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. You're listening to UGA Gospel Storm Midnight Love Garden with Miss Coco Bowden right here on iHeartRadio. Radio. 